Good morning, Saugus. I'm Jared Slates. And I'm Jared Mara. Today is Tuesday, December 9th, and you know what that means. Only 16 more days till Christmas Day, 7 more days till Hanukkah, and 17 more days till Kwanzaa. Also, that today's daily breakfast will be a chicken biscuit or a sausage and cheese biscuit. We'll be right back after the flag salute. Please stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy Twin Day, Saugus. The spirit activity for today will be a three-legged race. That's three legs. The Koa Music Program is presenting their annual winter concert this Thursday, December 11th at 7 p.m. in the Hart High School Auditorium. The University of Arizona is hosting a College Week live informational session for Hart District students during an all-access virtual college fair on Thursday, December 11th. This is from 3 to 6 p.m. and representatives will be available to answer all of your questions on admissions, financial aid, and general campus information. Be sure to visit the site listed below for additional information. Remember Centurions, the Library Media Center will only be open for book returns starting Thursday, December 11th. Please plan ahead. They will reopen for regular services after winter break. There will be a yearbook fundraiser today at Panda Express from noon to 10 o'clock p.m. Remember to bring the flyer with you. Yearbook will also be having a Goodwill Drive January 31st, so save up those items you might throw away this holiday season. Interested in a career in healthcare? Kerry Carmody, the retired CEO of Providence Health and Services, will discuss careers in healthcare today at lunch in room X2413. Anyone interested in a healthcare career or is in the healthcare pathway, please plan to attend. Hey, you freshmen, this is a reminder that tomorrow night the Common Sense Mentors are hosting a final study session in the Q building between 6 o'clock and 8.30 p.m. In addition to the freshman review sessions, Mr. Jacobson will be hosting a math session in J1014 from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. California Association of Collectors <laughs> Educational Scholarship Organization is offering scholarships up to $2,500 for high school seniors who are legal residents and plan to be full-time students after graduation. Interested students need to complete an application and write an essay on the importance of maintaining good credit by January 5th, 2015. For details, please go to the website listed below. Any students who will have completed at least one year of, Ch of the Chinese language by the end of the school year are eligible to apply for the China Exchange Program. Applications are available from Mrs. Fisher in room M1306 now. Scholarships are available and the applications for these are also available from Mrs. Fisher. For further information, please contact Mrs. Stevenson at the email listed below or talk with Mrs. Fisher. ROP still has seats available in the following courses. Automated Career Internship, Entertainment and Performance Occupations, Graphic Design, Hotel and Restaurant Operations, Physical Therapy Assisting, Television Broadcast and Journalism, Wildlife Firefighting, Sheriff Explorer, real Retail Sales, and Law Enforcement. Interested students need to be sure to see Mrs. Lukey before tomorrow. Now let's go to CJ Westenhofer with your sports news. Thanks, Jared. I'm CJ here with your sports news. Our, our congratulations go to Abby Whitesell, who won a silver and gold medal for the USA in swim relays. JV Boys Basketball is, the, is in the market for a new team manager. If you are interested, see Mr. Hallman in the athletic director's office. Shot put and discus tryouts will be every day this week at 2.30 at the track. Tryouts are open to everyone. Students with questions should contact Coach Russell. Attention male athletes, if you are missing a water jug, please come to the boys' PE office to identify and pick up your item. Any jug left in the PE office by the end of the two weeks will be disposed of. There are also a bunch of clothes uh, and shoes that will go to the Goodwill at the end of the second week period, if not claimed as well. This week, basketball will continue competing in various tournaments. Girls freshmen will be competing at Ventura, girls varsity will be competing at Milken, boys freshmen will be competing at Valencia, and boys JV will be competing at Simi Valley. Today, girls soccer will be playing a game against Oak Park at Oak Park. Freshmen will be playing at 3.30, JV will play at 5 o'clock, and varsity will play at 6.30. 
Today, boys soccer will play a game against Burbank at Burbank. Varsity will play at 5 o'clock and JV will play at 3.30. They will also be playing a game this Friday against Notre Dame at Notre Dame. JV will play at 3.30 and Varsity will play at 5 o'clock. The 4-on-4 four four Brett Favre intramural football playoffs will continue today on the football field at lunch. The final four teams are to show up by 12.30, ready to play for the grand prize. See you on the field. Now for a challenging question of the day. Has social media influenced our views on Ebola? Let's go to Jake Schick to find out. Good morning, Sal. It's Jake Schick here. With the rising of social media, people are able to stay on top of current events and news. However, has social media skewed how we view things? Let's take a step outside and see what others think. So do you still think Ebola is a concern? Do you think Ebola is still a concern? So do you think Ebola is still a concern? No. No, not anymore. Uh, yes, I do. I don't think that Ebola is currently an issue in our society here in the U.S. Um, I think that we have dealt with it at, thus far, and I think it's still an issue in other places, but not here. Uh, do you think social media has desensitized us from Ebola? Yeah, I think social media definitely desensitized Ebola. I definitely think that social media has desensitized us a little bit because as humans, I think we tend to try and make jokes out of things that make us uncomfortable or that we maybe don't know how to appropriately deal with. So I, I do think that it has given us an outlet to quickly create jokes to sort of lighten a situation, yeah. So the next time you watch social media, think how serious the situation actually is before you make any exceptions. This has been Jake Schick reporting, signing off. Thank you, Mr. Schick. Saugus Talent Show is back. To be entered in the second annual Saugus Talent Show, interested students can pick up application and tickets in the band room E517. Applications for performers are due Friday, January 23rd. Pre-sale ticket, uh, pre tickets are only $10. The show will be held February 6th in the NPR. Ceramic Club will be providing the opportunity for anyone who would like to paint their own ornament, mug, or other ceramic pottery option to come to B206 today at lunch. Most ceramic pieces, including mugs, are $10 and ornaments are 5 Now for your club news. There will be a brief Common Sense Mentors meeting today at lunch in Mr. Henderson's room, H806. Red Oak Club will be meeting today at lunch in room H808. Anime Club will be meeting today at lunch in room H804. Defiat will be meeting today at lunch in the S Lecture Hall. Mods of Masketeers will be meeting today at lunch in room J1007. Rotary Interact will be meeting today at lunch in Q1711. Social Action Club will be meeting today at lunch in X2412. Speech Team will be meeting today at lunch in Q1709. Super Smash Brothers will be meeting today at lunch in A102. Riders in Flight will be meeting today at lunch in P1606. Z Club will be meeting today at lunch in room X2404. The Special Olympics Society will be meeting tomorrow at lunch in room L1203. Ceramics Club will be meeting tomorrow at lunch in B206. Fellowship of Christian Athletes, FCA, will be meeting tomorrow at lunch in A102. All are welcome to attend. International Club will be meeting tomorrow at lunch in M1306. United Bronies Club will be meeting tomorrow at lunch in Q1708. New members are welcome. Red Cross Club will be meeting Thursday at lunch in room Q1701. The Star Wars Club meets tomorrow in R1805. In other club news, Pokemon Club will be meeting, will be holding tournament signups this Friday. Well, that's it for SNN today. I'm Jared Mara. And I'm Jared Slates. Have a tenacious Tuesday, Saugus.